Welcome back. I'm standing in front of Mary Elizabeth Elementary School in Dayton, Massachusetts, where a local controversy has arisen following a performance by the Children's Horizon Theater, a community theater group that performs short stories and fairy tales for local elementary schools. The controversy stems from their production of The Emperor's New Clothes, which has taken things a little too far. I don't know if you're familiar with the story, The Emperor's New Clothes, but it is, in fact, about an emperor who requests new clothes, and when they are made, they are made out of nothing. So the emperor appears nude, and uh, we respected the text, and I really don't see any problem in that. Stephen Barna is being charged as a level 3 sex offender after exposing himself to a class of local third graders, as seen in this haunting footage. Let's take a look at my wonderful suit! I'm not a pervert. I'm a God-loving man. And the only reason I got into this was because I love children. I never do anything to hurt them. How was he supposed to know he was doing anything wrong? If the school didn't want to see full frontal male nudity, then I don't see why they would commission a show that so famously calls for it. You know, people stick to scripts all the time, and that's what we do. That's what theater artists do. People in the community find it disturbing that the company doesn't recognize the inherent perverseness of what they've done, refusing to censor in any way an entirely naked grown man in front of an audience of eight and nine-year-olds. My son was in the audience that day of the show, and ever since then, he's been waking up screaming. Just screaming. That man should go to jail for what he did to those kids. I've known Steve for countless years, worked with him on countless projects, and, and, and to have him called a sex offender is nothing could be further from the truth. He's a consummate professional, he's a gentleman, he's a family man. We, we would have roomy cube nights. It could have been any one of us. It could have been me. That's what I keep playing over and over in my head. Luckily, I was just puss and puss in boots, so fortune spared me. Steve was just the wrong place at the wrong time. I lost custody of my kids. I'm a sex offender. Life will never be the same. You might recognize the name Children's Horizon Theater from 2005, when during a production of Peter Pan, their lead actor shattered his femur and both his kneecaps while attempting to fly using the magic of fairy dust. I'm Tom Jerkins, Action News Reporting.